Thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Anuma. Anuma. Um, the DG to this Reverend Secretary. The SEs. Directors of NTDC here. All senior government officials on both sides of the line, both from the ministry and also from the nation. You see, uh, Mr. Anuba, uh, Mr. Anuba, I think I'm just a minister. I'm also a magician. <laughs> and from the moment you said I should add tourism to my portfolio, I conjured a new card. <laughs> Read it to them. What does that say? <laughs> so, this card reads, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Lai Mohammed, Honorable Minister, Federal Minister of Information, Culture, and Tourism. But let me tell you, if you remove it from your pocket, it will just it will disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. It gives me great pleasure to be here today. Uh, and I think uh, the NTDC, I uh, think you, you, would, uh, you have the privilege of being the very first child, uh, for a state uh, that. Uh, we are visiting, we are working to the dispensation. Uh, and I think this also goes to the kind of importance that not just the ministry, but the administration attaches to the tourism industry. We've said in many places that tourism and when you look at tourism, tourism is not just sightseeing. Tourism is the entire creative industry. I mean, it's made up of the entire creative industry. And so when we talk about tourism, we are talking about film, talking about music, talking about gastronomy, talking about Beaches, you're talking about your know, fashion, you're talking about photography, you're talking about your monuments. Uh, and uh, the truth of the matter is that NTDC is not just the apex organization for tourism, but it's actually at the center of all of these tourist activities. And when you look at your eye, it actually mandates you to develop, promote, and market tourism in Nigeria. In other words, you are the chief marketer of Nigeria in terms of bringing in people from outside to see what you've been blessed with, and also encouraging people locally also to see what they have been blessed with. So you need to understand this you know, very significant goal that the law has actually uh, uh, served the rules. And that is why it's not by uh, coincidence that we are the first place we are visiting because this government believes that in the nearest future, the creative industry which you supported is going to be the next oil for Nigeria. And that when oil we have tried up, the creative industry, which is our cultural heritage, our music, our films, our architecture, our gastronomy will always remain fresh and we will be able to attract people from Nigeria to come and visit them. So you can see how pivotal 
the role of NTDC is to the creative industry in Nigeria and to the economy of Nigeria. We have held um, when we look at co the corporate governance that regulates tourism, we must also think of the other side of corporate governance, which is in terms of welfare. Uh, the welfare, LTDC is a research institute, uh, uh, and therefore we have uh, made representation uh, on, in terms of what the uh, uh, pay grades, etc., are, which has been a source of a great deal of agitation with the unions. But again, we have put that on the table, and we are looking at uh, ways that the ministry will assist us in placing us in the right uh, sphere. Um, we have also been looking very closely at human capital development. The, the days of marketing by paper, they're long gone. If I take a photograph of the minister here now and I put it on social media, somebody in Tokyo will see this image immediately now. You don't have to kill trees to make paper, to use ink, to print, to send anywhere. That is the new medium of, of, of digital expression that tourism depends on, information depends on. And we are, have agreed very closely, I mean, not so much of agreed, the, the agency is going to work closely with the information uh, uh, um, apparatus that exists within the ministry. So instead of us coughing and it sounds like a little cough in NTDC, when we cough in NTDC now, it's going to be a loud ministerial roar. We have been working on the tourism satellite account which is a specific uh, uh, infrastructure that tourism requires. It's a set of data that you collect, that you use to do, you use to modify your plans. If you don't know what the effect of what you're doing is, you could be doing the wrong thing and not know it. So we have, uh, we have we doubled our efforts on the tourism satellite account and, and other little things that by default, the beauty about uh, uh, NTDC is whatever the federal government spends money on benefits NTDC. If the Minister for Power builds a new power plant, it's for Nigerians, but it benefits tourists. If there's a new road, it benefits tourists. Anything that is done for the betterment of the life of a Nigerian also affects the life of a tourist. So all those things are pluses for us uh, in NTDC as well. We have our brand called Tour Nigeria, and if you look what CNN, you see Malaysia, Truly Asia, uh, 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 Incredible India. Malaysia is in Asia. India is incredible. So we chose Tour Nigeria. We chose Tour Nigeria because we felt that Nigerians love Nigeria, love Nigerians, but don't know Nigeria, and it's the source of a lot of issues. So we chose the brand Tour Nigeria and a sub-brand called Nigerian Flavors. And what we're saying is tour Nigeria to experience the flavors of Nigeria. And those flavors are in film, in fashion, in art, in food. Uh, the jollof rice, I will say. <laughs> uh, in fashion. And if you look at this medium of cultural expression within Nigeria, and look at the implication globally, Afrobeat is beating the world. Nigerian film is number two in, in, in terms of numbers globally. Nigerian fashion makes a statement anywhere it goes. Even religion in Nigeria is, 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 is it's a commodity. It's, it's a phenomenon that has gone into uh, global. So we must look at Nigeria, even as Nigerians, and driving our domestic tourism policy that tour Nigeria and experience the flavors of Nigeria. And those two brands are encapsulated in what we market in NTDC. Finally, we spoke about financing. Financing is a very touchy subject, especially in tourism. Tourism is very finance sensitive. When interest rates are double digits that uh, tourism faces, uh, tourism tends to shy away. Um, the days of government doing everything for everybody is also long gone. So the realization is that uh, it's not self-help, but it's using what we can and what we have and what we can better to try and achieve uh, the maximum that we can achieve. Collaborations between states and NTDC and the ministry, 
collaboration between private sector concerns who are looking for the visibility that we have the platforms to deliver, collaboration with international uh, uh, bodies like uh, Wikipedia, and Google, etc. are things that we have spoken together to that we are encouraged to explore further and to be able to deliver a better product uh, for Nigerian marketing. Thank you very much.